What's up guys, YK404 back with you and today I'm going to share with you the top 5 armies that I think are out there for Town Hall 14 in Legends and in War. So we're starting with number 5, Hybrid. And this is a box style base, I'm going to share one replay for each attack here and explain how this works in case you don't want to go and watch the whole uh, guide for this. But I will have all the guides for all these armies linked down in the description in case you want to learn anything in depth. So starting with the Queen and the Flame Flinger. The Flame Flinger up top is there to kind of take out a couple of defenses here and there if possible and create a funneling, a pathing for the hybrid to go inside the base. And then the Queen is responsible to take out the Town Hall and take out all of these enemy heroes that are here. You know, enemy heroes with uh, Queen Charge for hybrid and, and as well as like Bomb Towers in the Town Hall is kind of crucial. So I'm getting two Bomb Towers here and um, I don't know maybe one bomb tower and the town hall that is also good enough in my opinion and then the queen can walk inside and take out a little bit more defenses once the town hall is gone but you can see we're raging up we're invisibling the healers and the queen and yeah the funnel has been established on the other side now we can start with the king and the hybrid directly going inside well good news the flame flinger is still going on and taking down defenses and the queen was also able to take out the second bomb tower there so Great stuff, great, great, great stuff. Now, I froze the enemy king because that was kind of bullying my queen, and I have started the hybrid to go inside the base. You can see the king is doing a brilliant job in terms of funneling and keeping the hybrid inside the base. Royal champion is also with the hybrid. I have sent one uh, headhunter with the hybrid troop to go inside the base and do whatever it can, anyways. Now, the last rage and heal spell has been dropped at the core of the base. Poison for the enemy super minions. They can't really do anything under the poison, especially with the world champion going in with the hybrid. And I did freeze the scattershot that was trying to hit the hybrid. And you can see it's an overkill. The flame flinger has not still popped. We still have the world champ's ability. Queen is still looking st uh, strong. And the king is still very, very, very much alive. I have plenty of hybrid troops. I still do not have the clan castle troops coming out as the flame flinger still was alive just now hogs are coming out but we don't really need it and that's how you do hybrid all right we're jumping in with the electro dragon attack here at number four hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy my videos but you can see i'm starting with the queen and the baby dragon to kind of funnel on one side then the king is gonna come in and you know stay ahead of the queen tank and take out you know like three layer of defenses from that compartment then the e drags and balloons are all you know spammed on the base with the grand warden early as hell warden's ability with split rages classic electro dragon stuff uh, of course link is in the description for the detailed guide that i made on e drags go definitely definitely check it out uh, i'm definitely sure that it's gonna help out you guys very very much now we do have poison on the enemy clan castle troops which is super minions in this case i'm keeping the town hall frozen for the e drags here you can always use blimp but on ring bases on anti two star bases in my opinion stone slammer is just better just better <laughs> like that's that's how i do it now finally the royal champion is coming in to get the teslas the infernos and looks like we are slowly but surely losing out electro dragons we do have one more freeze spell that i really do not think we need and the queen and the royal champion with their abilities still intact should be able to grab all of the remaining defenses here. You can see the RC's ability is just now going to go off and take out the last couple of defenses. One archer tower, one cannon will go down to the royal champion. Did not need that freeze over there, but still used it because why not? And with that, this base does go down very, very easily. Yeah, we, we also had this attack in like a, a minute and 30 seconds, I think. So it's a very, very, very quick attack. In case you don't want to plan much, you just want to spam, this is the way to go. And yeah, uh, E-Drags come into number 4 for us. And the 3-star is on your screen right now. Alright, we have at number 3 the Blizzard Lalo army. One of my the most favorite armies. I, I was like confused whether I should put it at number 3 or number 2. But uh, ended up putting it at number 3 because the Blizzard can get sometimes baited. But anyways, you can see here we have started the Hound. The Blimp is going in. We're going to you know drop the Blimp into this uh, that Expo compartment. Rage up, invisible them. They're going to take out the Town Hall. They're going to take out the Scattershot and maybe the enemy hero as well. Real Champion, do you go down as 
well? Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Do they? Yeah, they do. Okay. They also took out the Inferno. So that's that's a really good thing. Now, I do have a very toxic Witch CC here. And uh, it is sometimes, it can be difficult to deal with the Witch Clown Castles. But hey, Poison is in, Queen has been dropped, and the Skellies should go down very easily, not a problem. And then the Queen can surely, slowly but surely, can take out the Witches as they walk in. Now, the question is how do you plan ahead of this? So you gotta, you know, drop your Queen in a way that it goes in a certain direction where you want her to go. In my case, I want the Queen to go up and towards the Eagle Artillery, so I'm going to funnel her just uh, the way I want her to go. I'm gonna use the King, I'm gonna use the Royal Champion, you'll see. I do have a Sneaky Goblin there working on the uh, Collector, the King is going to walk and then I'm gonna wall break the King into that alley kind of compartment to the Eagle Artillery compartment. So that kind of works, right? That works. And then the Royal Champion is going to, you know, assist the King, stay with him and take out defenses after defenses. I do have the Queen walking exactly where I want her to go and from that alley the Queen can reach a lot of the defenses you can already see that the king's ability is still intact the royal champion's ability is still intact queen's ability is still intact and we don't want to time fill so we're just starting with the level in portion you can see here and that is exactly how you do it guys king's ability just now going off and the rc's ability went off the queen's ability we still have it uh warden's ability protecting the hound the balloons the uh, headhunters that are going in to maybe grab a couple of heroes. I don't know if they will be able to do it or not, but because we have the Queen's ability, because we have the King, the Royal Champion still alive, and so much Lava Loon power and so much spell, guys. Yeah, uh, it really does not matter. I think we have already crushed this base. It's easy and safe to already declare that this base has been crushed, deleted. Just look at it, how much things we have left. We have all heroes surviving, I think, except the world champion. And so much balloon, so much cleanup, so much like Queen's ability still intact. Yeah, just one mistake here from my end. I did not see that one building up top. I would have dropped a minion or archer or something, like something to take it out. But uh, we do have enough time for all of our troops to go up and grab that in time and make it a crushing three star. All right, and number two, we have the Super Bowler Smash, guys. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video this far, at least now. I deserve it, right? Uh, but yeah, um, we do have a Yeti and the Flame Flinger coming out at the beginning and then I'm, I'm also going to combine the Grand Warden here. Usually I don't do it like this but just wanted to put this one uh, attack replay out there for you guys to see uh, that this is also one of the ways that you can do it but if you're not new to the channel you definitely definitely know that I have my own unique precise way of doing Super Bowler Smash and again the detailed guide video is in the description if you want to watch that for this army. Uh, definitely go check it out. I've made five or four, at least four to five videos uh, just explaining how Super Bowler Smash works and how I do it. So here you can see the Warden is taking down the Expo. Um, well, will take down the Expo right after he's done with the Wizard Tower. And the Flame Flinger is taking down the Town Hall. That is exactly what we wanted for this particular attack. For a box cell basis, I have a very unique approach. I go from the opposite Town Hall, uh, opposite direction of the Town Hall, and it sort of always works. Uh, I just wanted to have fun in this one, so I went with a unique, kind of different kind of approach here. But yeah, you can see the King and the Valkyrie is going to start funneling here for the smash and then I'm gonna drop the ice golem wall break and the smash is going to go in King is also gonna backtrack to go grab the enemy queen here and with all the troops going inside wall break giving us access to the next layer we can jump this uh, the super bowler smash on the inside here we do have the flame flinger yetis coming out and the lava hound is kind of kind of stuck on them but that's okay, we can still jump and rage everything, the Super Bowlers in the core, and it's okay, the Queen can later, you know, deal with the Lava Hound and take care of it. But you can see we have, like, basically the whole core gone from the base right now, and I'm just now starting with the World Champion. It is true that the Super Bowlers are sort of walking, but uh, that's because the walls are open, and I think we could still get it done 
because, you know, uh, with all the exterior buildings cleared out, the Super Bowlers are again going inside and they can, with the Royal Champion in combination under the Raid spell, take out the Enemy RC and the Scattershot. And I do still have plenty of spells remaining, plenty of troops remaining, the King's still alive, the Queen still has her ability, and even the Royal Champion has her ability to take care of the remaining defenses. And with that, this is, in fact, an overkill. So this is one way again, keep saying it, uh, there are video links in the descriptions for all of these attacks that I'm showing here. And if you want to in depth learn these strategies, you can go watch those videos anytime. All right, we now have Queen Charge Lavaloon in number one spot, guys. This is my all-time favorite attack strategy. I, I think all of you guys already know, those who have been watching the channel for a long time now. So yeah, uh, it is going to be a classic one. I'm not going to use the Grand Warden, uh, Ground Warden on this attack, you'll see. So we have the King, Queen, the Royal Champion, and the Log Launcher already deployed. We do have the healers just now deployed and the queen is making her way into the scattershot compartment slowly but surely. And then soon you can see the royal champ uh, ability goes off. The royal champ is taking down the scattershot now and I think she will be able to take it down without any spell support. While the queen is able to take out the other scattershot, king is able to take out the eagle artillery. And I'm sending the headhunter and I'm raging up the queen, the headhunter to take out the enemy queen. That goes down as well. We have the yetis coming out of our log launcher. We do rage them up and freeze the town hall with the royal champion. Now the tornado, uh, tornado trap is uh, sort of stalling our yetis a little bit for a little while, but that's okay. That's not a problem. We do have the poison dropped already for the clan castle troops as well. Town hall does go down. Queen is beating a good wall. From there, Queen can actually reach out to that uh, multi-inferno compartment. And I think we do not have to really worry about anything. So just dropping a couple of uh, balloons for that archer tower and dropping some cleanup to help with time. And with that, we are now starting with the Lava Loon portion and the Grand Warden on air is going with the La Lo. You'll see I'm also dropping the headhunters going inside. I'm going to hit the warden's ability, hasting the balloon into the uh, air defense from where this, uh, the uh, headhunter is also going to be able to take out the enemy RC. Freezing the multi-inferno, balloons will be able to slowly make their way to the multi-inferno, freezing it again. And now the queen has her ability. I do have cleanup all over the places, do have wall breakers. So I'm giving queen access out of the compartment where she is now. Which, uh, if you ask me, this honestly is a textbook queen charge love loon attack. It's uh, picture perfect. That's what it is. I, I mean, it's not an incredible overkill, but everything just went exactly according to the plan. And when it does, you can see this is what it looks like. So yeah, um, number one, Queen Charge Lava Loon. On bonus, we have the Hydra attack strategy. Now, uh, you can use multiple types of Hydra. You can use Queen Charge Hydra, you can use cloned uh, Balloon Hydra, you can use cloned Yeti Hydra, you can use Blizzard Hydra. There's a lot of different types of Hydra that you can use, but I think it deserved an honorary you know position in the tier list that I'm making here and I'm doing the cloned Yeti Hydra so you can see the the Hydra is going inside the warden's ability is going to protect the blimp the blimp is uh, kind of going towards the town hall and we'll drop it we'll clone everything uh, ba which basically it's just two Yetis and I have two clones so I get six max Yetis under raid spell at that compartment meaning everything of value that is there goes down including the town hall the uh, inferno the expo everything everything goes down and well uh, there's just one dragon trying to fight with that multi inferno doesn't quite get it but that's okay we do have the queen's ability and we do have three free spells for our world champion with which in my opinion the world champion should not have any struggle whatsoever in taking out all of the defenses that are remaining in the base 
And I think I do have uh, some more dragons on the top side, maybe. I do have the warden there, which warden is going down. The owl is also going down. I don't know if there's any dragon remaining or not, but we do have the RC's ability. We do have two more free spells, and I really don't think the RC needs any of those spells anymore. But I'm still, still freezing up the defenses just because we can. So why not, right? But yeah, the Ursi's ability goes off now and she's able to take out the last cannon. She will be able to take out the last two uh, Builder Huts, Battle Builder Huts actually. And with that, she's going to be able to crush the space, get the three star on your screen. And yeah, um, I mean, if you enjoyed the video guys, definitely make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to watch other guides that I made, go watch the playlist on the screen now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.